Hi, my name is Ross with Flight Prep, and today I'd like to introduce you to the iChart app for iPad by Flight Prep. Here's the app loaded on a 64 gig Wi Fi plus 3G iPad. The iPads come in three different hard drive capacities a 16 gig, a 32 gig, and like this one, a 64 gig solid state hard drive. The 3G is an option that we decided to get on this iPad because then you've got internet wherever you go. Once you're in our app, the iChart app here, it's very easy as you can see with only four buttons along the bottom to move in and around the app. I've got information up currently on Boeing Field up in Seattle, but if I want to bring up information on my home airport, Aurora State, all I need to do is hit the search tool up there in the upper right, put in the identifier, and now I have information on Aurora State. Let's bring up the localizer. Now I have an approach plate to my home airport very quickly and easily here in the app. If I want to see Aurora State on a chart, simply click the chart button. There's Aurora on a VFR sectional. On the sectionals, to maneuver around on the chart, simply need to touch it with my finger or fingers, drag it around, zoom in, zoom out. One neat feature that we've got is the ability to actually come over here and even look in and check on the chart legend. That would get you additional information available on those charts. We also have low and route charts available. Let's go and look at those as well. that here we're looking at the Seattle area and again I can touch an airport on that chart and bring up information for it. Look at the airport diagram there at SeaTac. Notice our favorite button over here in the right hand corner. We've got a favorites list up here on the top that if we want to make SeaTac, one of our favorites, we simply select it, and now here on the bottom, SeaTac's been added to our favorites list. History works in a similar way, just any airport that you've looked up will appear in your history, so you can quickly go back to it. Charts button again down here on the bottom. We also have TAC charts, so let's bring up the Seattle TAC. And just like the sectionals on the low and route charts, the TAC charts are simply manipulated by zooming around with your finger touch. And they're very, very easy to zoom in so you can really get the big picture of what's going on in the chart that you need. Back over here to the downloader, you can notice that I've got about a gig and a half worth of charts, basically everything I'd need to fly through the Northwest. Subscription options for the iChart app start at $49.99 a year. That gets you all of the low and route charts, the sectionals, the tax, the approach plates, as well as airport information. The app itself is actually free. You can download it today in the Apple iTunes store or in the App Store on your actual iPad. The iChart app actually comes with 30 days worth of data at no cost. If you have any additional questions, please browse out to www.flightprep.com or feel free to give us a call at 503-678-4360. Thank you.